Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at the pushback helper version 2.4. Last week, we already looked at version 2.0, but the developer just released a new version. And as you can see, several things have changed. So the pushback truck has now been changed to tuck. The jetway and the fuel were already there, but there are some new buttons below uh, the three buttons on, buttons on the top. And the uh, circle has changed. There's now a forward and reverse button. So let's uh, power up the airplane uh, so we can, uh, can have a look at what those buttons are doing. So I'm gonna switch on everything. Then we need to wait, take some time. Meantime, uh, switch on pumps. So it's the system is booting, although you can't, don't see a lot, right? So it takes some time in this uh, A320 to. Uh, to be uh, ready because the uh, the start button needs to be set to available right as you probably know and normally you would see the percentage and that's something you won't see uh, also with the add-ons uh, you can't see it clearly so keep that in mind while waiting uh, to uh, would say to start the airplane let's uh, go to the outside of the airplane and let's have a look at the uh, buttons here so the main door as you already expect opens the main door uh, currently in this version it opens it only on the uh, left side as far as i have validated it because you can see uh, this door stays closed on the right side let me shoot. show it clearly to you uh, so the other button which is uh, useful or which you might expect to open a little bit more doors is the emergency door uh, but currently uh, the emergency door only opens the door at the right back I'm not sure if that's expected because I'm not sure if the uh, right door is only seen as the emergency door because I would expect that if you uh, well, if you, you ever flew an uh, A320 you would also have the emergency doors here right which can be opened by the passengers right that's all always where the uh, nice people in the uh, the airplane uh, give you instructions for uh, and the last one we need to go to uh, to this side also a little bit down you can see the cargo door which can be opened and closed using the last button so some nice additions uh, so they will color green if they are open and if they're not coloring green right like now then they're closed uh, so again let's go inside the airplane so the uh, apu star door has been on so we can switch on the uh, apu bleed and now we're gonna continue with the uh, engine so we're gonna set the IGN to start switch the engines on um, they will probably start building uh, building up hopefully we did everything okay probably for we forgot to do something you hear them already building up the power so there there's always I would say when you look at the different videos uh, on the on the internet right some people decide to start the engines uh, during the pushback some of them already start them prior to the pushback uh, so that's that's I think not sure what the official procedure is uh, there's some nice videos from a real a320 pilot maybe have a look at that video to, to understand okay what's the official process Maybe we should simply search the internet because probably it uh, can be found on the internet. So it's time for uh, the pushback. Right, so we're gonna press uh, tuck as you can see. And this is where the uh, pushback truck will connect to the uh, to connect to the airplane. A little bit weird, those wheels. So it's almost connecting. And this road I really like, right? You can really look close and here comes the next step so if you're used to version uh, 2 then this has changed massively 
so you need to keep that in mind so what you need to do is once the pushback truck has connected then you need to press the reverse button because you want to be pushed back if you don't do anything simply remove the parking brake right so then the a320 will push back forward normally uh, so what you need to do is uh, press reverse which will uh, make the uh, pushback truck uh, push the airplane back as you can see and if you want to move slower you can use the slider here to move slower or if you want to go faster you can go fast and another thing is you can uh, stop using the stop button and then stop will again change to forward and if you change it to forward uh, last thing is that it will start pulling you forward as you can see hit stop again reverse the only thing which would be nice right if the, the person in the uh, pushback truck would also change direction right so that's what you sometimes see in those pushback trucks that they're uh, I would say turning around their, their steer because if you would be I'd say driving forward then he doesn't see anything so could be a could result in some dangerous situations so you could see that or you, you can see that there are several nice additions to this add-on which is I think pretty popular according to uh, several of the comments uh, below the previous uh, review so if you use the previous one then it's definitely recommended to update to the newer version of the uh, pushback version so let's set the, fire, the airplane to a uh, parking brake and remove the pushback truck so definitely do it uh, so the, here is where this video ends so if you like this video then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then uh, try or consider to use the comment box below the video uh, also if you've got other uh, add-ons which you like to be reviewed or which I which I which you would like me to discuss in a video uh, please put them below the comment box uh, in the comment box because I'm looking for some new add-ons which are really great to show other people again thanks for watching uh, if you like the video then consider to use the like button if you want to be kept up to date about new videos then consider to subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching and see you next time.